better to buy or draft there. We've gone through the needs of the team, but the real question I think is how do you get these players? And that's kind of a nuanced roster building discussion, but I love it. I think about it a lot in the off season and I have strong opinions, whether I'm right or not. So let's talk about it. Yeah. We've hit on a couple of the areas that, that, should dictate this right i mean your strategy around cornerback i think this is an area where we differ i like your opinion of of continuing to dip there the niners have not done that consistently right if they had followed your strategy for years the the cupboard would be full so to speak you would have some misses you would have some hits but the cupboard would be stocked a, a bit more than it is at this point because they have not pursued your strategy in years past i would argue that that's a position I believe you bring in a veteran because I don't think the 49ers can afford to miss. I think if they if they use a second round pick on a cornerback who ends up being a bust, that would be too big of a risk in their part. I would rather address cornerback with a, a mid-level veteran. You already have two younger, more promising cornerbacks in Ambry Thomas and Emmanuel Mosley. To me, bringing in a savvy veteran presence there in the cornerback room, that one makes sense to me. That's fine. Uh, th- I guess if you're looking for a solid corner, you can get those on the free agent market. If you're looking for someone who can hold his own against Cooper Cup, who you got to face two, maybe three times a year, you should probably draft that guy. Yeah. But then again, if you're drafting him with the 61st pick, it's probably too late. Right. You know what I mean? You're it's rolling probably the dice. Too late. Yeah. So I see what you're saying. And the thing about drafting corners, I feel like you have to do it, but it's a tough position to draft. You can definitely get busts there. It's it's hard. Like, I, I feel like the best draft prognosticators every year often get wrong. Uh, which corner is the best? A lot of times, the first corner off the board isn't the best corner, and right. it's the third or the fourth. Like Trevon Diggs was a was a second round pick, and I'm just saying. So yeah, you can definitely. It's an easy position to miss on. Another interesting one is offensive line because you brought it up. I mean, that is certainly a need. The Niners will need to address their offensive line depth, whether they choose to bring back some of their own players or whether they fill those spots through the draft or free agency. You bring up an interesting point that the 49ers do not have a track record of developing young offensive linemen. So should they waste any more valuable early draft picks on them or do they focus on signing their own guys back and then going into free agency and getting some of those veterans or some of the cast offs like Lake and Tomlinson where they they had that pedigree of being a first round pick, but just didn't work out in their current scenario? I think there's a big difference between playing offensive line in college football and offensive line in the NFL, and it requires a big learning curve and a really good position coach that the Niners don't seem to have. Uh, so. Other teams can draft offensive line. I think the Niners probably shouldn't. They should just look for uh, offensive linemen who are being cast off for no good reason and pounce. That's what they should probably do. It's probably, I mean, you'd rather draft them. It's a very important position. And uh, But this is the team that drafted Mike McGlinchey instead of Colt, uh, Colton Miller. Right. Colton Miller's really good. Mike McGlinchey isn't. So, yeah. Yeah. Three to eights. me, the again, I go back to speed edge rusher. Those seem to be... Yeah something where if you're going to try and get a speed edge rusher as a free agent you're going to pay a premium yep but because of the fact that people are looking for every down players as an edge rusher and those are the guys that are targeted very early in the draft it allows for some of those speed guys more in the d ford uh mold to fall a little bit deeper into the draft so again that'd be my top target that's cool i i'm not saying the niners should like stay away from premium edge rushers like nick bose is very helpful and Chris Kosarik adds around him, but a lot of what the Niners do is just having Bosa. Um, but that being said, like, don't do the D Ford thing ever again. Don't make a big investment on someone who's kind of injured or don't ever, ever do that because you don't have to. Right. Like Samson Ebukam, some guy who was never even a pass rusher on the Rams. And by the end of the season, he was a threat. He was a right. Ford. So if you find someone that's, you know, really good and probably still a little bit of a bargain considering what you're paying, do it but don't spend an, don't trade a second round pick for the right to give some the next d4 to five year 85 million dollar don't do that no don't do that. but what i what i would say given what you just laid out there you, do me. invest some of those mid-round picks in the very raw pass rushing talents that are in the draft because you do have a position coach that can yeah. coach that, those guys up become exactly. a defensive line freaking factory yeah if there's some like five-star recruit who went to lsu and 
had a good year, but then kind of fell off, kind of like Arden Key and is there in the third round. That's the kind of guy that Chris Koser can get back on track. How many primetime games do you think we get? Seven. Four. I'll six go, and a half. I don't know. I'll go, I'll go six. I'll take six. 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 That's going to be a lot, game. but the Niners deserve it. All right. Grant looks like he wants to look like porn star Jimmy. LOL. Maybe Jimmy wants to look like me. Jimmy, Maybe. when he came here, he had the little beard, but then he went to the sexy stubble. I'm just saying. Where you get, I've been rocking this since 08. 08. Not 07. 07, I had the chin strap. It was a bad time. Ah, well, that's the show. It's been a Mondo show. Are you, Mondo. Are you streaming again today? Yeah, I will be on my channel at 3 p.m. with Jack Hammer. We will be going even further in depth on these topics on my show. So you want to continue the dialogue? You want to continue going down the rabbit hole? Then head on over to Rob Shoe's channel and watch Rob Shoe and Jack Hammer. That's right. He just went third person. Grant Cohn signing out. I'm going third person too. Then we make the rules here. We make the rules because we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams.